This is Miwa DS. It's a nice Japanese lock with interesting feature that the key can be removed after 180 degree rotation. It's a wafer lock with up to 10 wafers. The key somehow reminds me of the U9, but this one seems to be, let's say, more cheaply made. Other than that, this lock can be quite fun to pick, especially the hide and seek with the last binder is very often the name of the game. So, wafers 9 and 10 are usually the first to bind. That was probably wafer 6 and small core rotation. So this I think is number three. No, didn't need, but the numbers one and two need attention. One seems to be set and Two is set to, and we've got a core movement. Now I think number four is binding, and we got a small core, a small core movement again. So now let's check the right side. Nine, uh, ten, and nine is springy. I think it's number seven that needed push. So one is springy, but two needs a push, and as you can see, we've got another nice core rotation. A uh, ten nine springy I think it was number five or six. Let's switch for a deeper pick. Okay. Nope. Ten, nine, there is nothing in eight. Seven. Okay, there is one. Hmm. Not really. So, as I said, very often finding the last binder is the biggest problem. One is springy. Okay, so it was number two. So we are picked. Unfortunately, this lock is not fully guttable, so I will take out what I can 
without destroying it. So let's see if I'll be able to remove this clip without launching it into the orbit. Come on. Okay. So in this position the core can be removed. So here you can see the first and the second groove where the uh, wafers bind. Here as you can see on this side there are three wafers, on this side there's six of them. Chamber 8 is empty, which might be used for master keying. Also, hopefully you can see, not all the wafers have the same profile, so that's the reason why some wafers need more than one push to fully set them. As you can see with the key inserted everything is in line. When the incorrect key is inserted the wafers protrude out of the core and the lock would not open. It's quite interesting because uh, this usually the wafers wafer locks are very cheaply made but I think the fact that the binding order of the lock is uh, quite different especially at the end uh, each time I pick it one would say that uh, it really is quite precisely made lock anyway so Yeah, that's the Miwa DS. Thanks for watching and goodbye.